Hey, what is going on guys? This is your boy Tropical Habs back here today for a brand new video. The Canadians are facing the Philadelphia Flyers tonight. So we're here for a Habs review of the day. We're going to talk about the Flyers. We're going to talk about uh, the, the forward lines, the defensive lines, who's going to be the starter goalie. And I'm going to make my prediction also for tonight's game. So if you want more reviews like that, more previews, uh, more updates about the canadians i invite you guys to please subscribe i'm one of the fastest habs reporter out there so if you want to be updated that with everything that's going on with the montreal canadians i invite you guys to subscribe 70 percent of people watching are not subscribed and we are on road to 3,000 subscribers so if you could help me out with that that would be much appreciated as well as the like button if we could hit 50 likes on this video that would be amazing so yeah the canadians are facing the philadelphia flyers tonight uh, Martin St. Louis is going to uh, coach against his former coach, one of his inspiration, uh, John Tortorella, with the Philadelphia Flyers. They won a Stanley Cup together. Um, St. Louis have said it multiple times that his favorite coach was John Tortorella, so it's probably an important game for him to win uh, against his uh, former coach. So yeah, the Philadelphia Flyers and Montreal Canadiens practically have the same record right now. They're both at 17, 17 games played. They're both at 17 points. Uh, the Philadelphia Flyers are 7-7-3 seven, seven, and three, and the Montreal Canadiens are 8-8-1. Eight, eight, and one. So it's pretty much the same thing. Um, they're both even teams. Uh, they're both uh, about the same level. They were supposed to be at the lower ranks of the NHL and they are doing better than expected. So I think that we are going to have a pretty fair game tonight between two teams who are rebuilding but are not too far away from being back to a playoff spot in a couple of seasons. So it's going to be really an interesting game to watch. Uh, the the Flyers are both, have both more of a defensive style of play the canadians more offensive so it's going to be really interesting to watch konechny uh gallagher both are similar players so we have really two similar teams that are facing each other tonight in montreal the bell center michael Matheson is coming back i told you guys in the latest review that Matheson was coming back i had uh, been told that by a really re reliable source so yeah like i said Matheson is back Tonight, I've been saying it for two weeks almost. So, um, yeah, Matheson. So, who's the odd man out? Who's going to be scratch from the Habs defense? We're going to look at this right now. So, um, I'm not going to, to show the screen because, like, I'm trying to change my scenes a little bit and it's kind of fucked up right now. So, we're going we're gonna to do it on a spot like that. So, forwards lines is Cole Caulfield, Nick Suzuki, Kirby Doc as the first line. I like expected. They've been producing really well together. Um, Mike Offit, Christian Dvorak, Gallagher, Evgeny Dodonov, Sean Monahan, Josh Anderson, and Michael Pizzetta, Jake Evans, and Uri Slavkovsky. So it's basically the same thing as the last two games. And I, I, I think it's okay because the offense have been producing really well in the last two games. Um, well, not really against the Devils, but like they played good, but they couldn't score. Vanacek was really solid and the Devils were, were playing solid hockey. So it wasn't really their fault. The Devils were just a better team. And in last game in, um, who was it against? I don't even remember. Holy crap. Crap. Against the Blue Jackets in Columbus, uh, the offense played good, defense was terrible, and uh, Montalbo didn't have his best game. So, yeah, that's why they lost. And uh, I think that the forwards line right now are looking pretty good. I think it's the best it's been looking the entire season, like, overall. So, I'm okay with St. Louis keeping it that way. The only thing I'd like to see soon is Uri Sofkowski to get a chance on the top six. But, for now, he's been doing good with Pizzetta and Evans in the last game. So, I'm not going to complain too much about this. So, in the defense, that's... Where there's a change, uh, first pair is Matheson Edmondson, and Edmondson playing on the right side with Matheson. I, I'm excited to see Matheson play. He was really, really good uh, during preseason, so he's going to be a really, really huge part of the Habs team that's going to come back tonight. Probably the best defenseman on the team. Um, second pairing, Goulet Saval, 
they've been amazing together uh, the entire season, so it's just fair that they are still together. Savard had a pretty rough game uh, last night at Columbus, so I'm sure he's going to bounce back and have a really, really good game like he's been doing um, since the start of the year. Uh, and the third pair is where I was really surprised. It's Arbor Jackai back on the left playing with Jonathan Kovacevic. So uh, the guy got, that gets scratched is Jordan Harris. Uh and I was surprised because for me personally, in my opinion, I take Jordan Harris 10 times before I take Harbor Jackai. Harris is three years older. He has three years of development um, in advance of Jackai. And he's just been more solid defensively, in my opinion, so far this year. Uh, he scored a goal last game, even though it was probably his worst game of this season. I think that Jordan Harris has been really more solid than Jack High so far this year. And I would have loved to see Jack High just go and develop himself in the AHL. So it might happen, it might not, but for tonight, it's Jack High with Kovacevic on the third pairing. And it's going to be interesting to see as well. Uh, Jake Allen is going to be in net for the Canadians. Uh, I just hope it's going to have a better game than the last two games because the last two games weren't the best games from Jake Allen, in my opinion. Need a big bounce back because if the goaltenders are not performing, the Canadians won't be performing. And yeah, my predictions for tonight. Uh, the last two games, I said that the Canadians were going to win and they lost. And when I said that the Canadians are going to lose, they win. So I'm going to go for the Philadelphia Flyers 4-2. And the goals from the Canadians are going to be from Sofkowski. I said last game that he was going to score. He didn't. It's tonight. I can smell it coming. So Sofkowski scoring tonight. And Gallagher is getting the other one. Gallagher has been pretty decent in the last couple of games. So Gallagher and Sofkowski. And uh, I don't really know much about the Flyers. So I'm not going to predict any goals from the Flyers. I don't really care. Uh, it's one of the team I hate the most in the NHL. I don't really care. I don't give a damn about the Flyers. So uh, I'm not going to predict this. So yeah, 4-2 Flyers. I hope I'm wrong. And yeah, give me your predictions in the comments below for tonight's game. It's been your boy, Tropical Habs. And I'll see you all tonight at 5 for another video. And after the game for Habs review. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.